Hey guys, this is a Ragman task guide for Out of Time. For this task, we have to find 12 different paintings on seven different maps. The first six will be on Streets of Tarkov. And then we do have a single painting to locate on each of the following maps. Customs, Labs, Reserve, Shoreline, Interchange, and Lighthouse. And once we do find the paintings on a particular map, then we do have to survive an extract from the raid so that we can hand them over to Ragman. Of these 12 paintings, each individual painting does have the potential for three spawns per raid, so we do have a total of 36 locations to go over in this guide. And just so that you guys know, some of the paintings may require a key to access a potential spawn since they are behind a locked door, which we will go over the keys when we do get to the corresponding painting. So starting with Streets of Tarkov, painting number one is located at the northeast part of the map in the expansion area by the Expo Hall, which is the building just next to the new extract at the Expo PMC Extract. So as we approach this building, the first spawn for you to check once we go inside is going to be in between the outer wall and then this wall, and it will be leaning up against the left hand wall just on top of this wooden plank. And of course, I will show a picture of what all the spawns look like when the task will be active for you. After we check here, then we are going to go further left on the opposite side of the room where you will see blue barrels up against the wall. To the right of these barrels is going to be a pallet with boxes, and then behind that is where the second spawn for painting number one is. And then the final spawn is going to be a little bit further right just past this body bag, and then it's going to be leaning up against the cardwood box just directly behind the body. After we finish here in this location, then it will cut us up to in front of the cardinal building that is at the northernmost area of the new map. So we are going to be up inside of the expansion area. So Pinewood Hotel is right here. This is where the blockade at the end of the main road is. And then if I turn just to the left to the entryway to the cardinal apartment is right here. Once we go inside, then we are going to turn left and then you will see a staircase by the windows. We're going to head up this staircase to the third floor or the highest floor that you can go up to before the staircase is blocked. And then once you get to this floor, then we're going to head down the hallway and then take a right where you will come to a room on your left hand side. Inside of this apartment, you will have three potential spawns for painting number two. The first one is going to be on the wall immediately as you enter into this room. The second spawn is located in the bedroom, which is on the right hand side. So just to the left of this suitcase and up against the wall just above the phone. And then the final spawn is going to be on the far left room of the entrance, and it is behind a pizza box, which is on the floor on the left hand side of the room. After we finish checking all of these locations, then the third painting is going to be located inside of the Lexos car dealership on the second floor behind two locked doors. So we are going to need the car dealership closed section key, which can be found in the pox and bags of scavs as well as in jackets or in drawers. And more specifically, you do have a high spawn rate on Caban if you do happen to eliminate him and then loot him. Or you can also buy this key for around 600,000 rubles on the flea market. And just so that you guys know, this key has now been switched to a single use key. So it is definitely quite expensive. And then you will also need the car dealership director's office room key, which you can also find in the pox and bags of scabs, as well as in jackets or in drawers. And you also will get this key as an initial equipment. When you do accept the peacekeeper task, your car needs a service or you can always buy it from the flea market for around 50,000 rubles. So for this task, we do have to go into the Lexos compound and be aware that there has been mines added to around 90% of the surrounding area around the Lexos compound. So we do only have two access entry points to get into this area. And once we do go into the compound, then you do have to go into the Lexos building, up the stairs and to the second floor. And this is where you will see a graded door on your left. And this is where you're going to use the Lexos car dealership closed section key. After you open up this area, then you're going to go straight and then around the corner on your right hand side. And this is where you will find another locked door. And this is where you can use the car dealership director's office room key. Once inside the room here, then you will have three potential spawns. The first being on the left of the director's desk in between the two cabinets. The second spawn is going to be directly up above that hanging on the wall. And then the third spawn will be on your way back out of the room on top of the boxes behind the upside down chair on the right side of the door. So after we finish at the Lexus dealership, then I will cut us over to the Concordia building area where we do have to go into the Concordia 34 apartment. Of the three potential spawns here, two of them are locked behind the Concordia apartment 34 room key. And this key can be found in the pockets and bags of scabs as well as in jackets or in drawers, or it can also be bought from the flea market for usually around 30k rubles. And again, it is possible that you won't need this key since one of the three spawns is outside of this locked room. And I'll show you guys the spawns now. So I am here in front of the Concordia building and I'm just going to turn around and head into the entryway number two. Then we're going to head up these stairs on our right two times all the way up to the third floor. And then we're going to continue in on the third floor and then turn left. Once you turn left, then you will see an open door down the hallway, and this is going to be the apartment 34. Once you go in through this door, then you will take an immediate right into the kitchen area, and then the first spawn is going to be in the left side of this water cooler on the ground. If the painting isn't here, then we will have to go down the hallway on our right to the second door, and this is where we can use the Concordia apartment 34 room key. Once you open up this door, then the first spawn inside of this area will be immediately inside the room on your right inside of a box on the floor. And then the third spawn for this area will be inside the bedroom that's on your left hanging on the wall next to the yellow couch that has a guitar on it. 
The next area where we have to go to in order to find painting number five is going to be back into the streets expansion area at the school building, which is just next to check 15. So we are here in front of the school and going into this building, we're gonna go through this door, which is on our right. We're gonna run through this whole entire area and then up the stairs to the second floor. And we will enter into this receptionist desk room. Once we go through this area, then we will go into a boardroom. And on the right-hand side of that room, there is a bookcase that was moved away from a wall to show a secret room entrance. Once you open up this door, then there will be three potential spawns in this one particular room. The first one is gonna be behind the light fixture on the wall on your left-hand side when you enter in. The second spawn is going to be on the right-hand side of the wine rack on the far right of the room, on the ground. And then the last spawn is actually going to be behind the door that you came in through on the left of the green suitcase. So you may have to shut the door in order to be able to properly get at it and in order to pick it up. And then I will be bringing you guys to the final location on streets, which will be at the brothel or Camelot building up by the courtyard extract. So I am up here just by the big cinema. We are going to be turning around and then heading down towards the courtyard extract, which is actually open in this raid since the green smoke is here. But instead of taking the extract, we will be going into the Camelot building, which is on our left hand side. Once you go inside the building, then we will have three spawns for painting number six that are in here. The first spawn is going to be on the far left side in between the wall and then this couch. So you won't be able to see it unless you do walk up to it here like I do. The second spawn is going to be behind the desk underneath the Camelot sign in between the safe and the wall. And then the last spawn is going to be up the stairs and then down the hallway on your right. And it will be inside of the open bedroom, which is the last door on the left. Once you go into this bedroom, it is going to be behind the TV on the right hand side of the television. And after you grab it, get out of that room as fast as possible, because who knows what you could contract from touching any of the surfaces in there. Now this is the last streets painting and you can go in and grab all six of these paintings in one raid if you do want to, or if you just want to go in and grab one at a time per raid, if that's easier for you to complete this task, then do that. But since this is the last one, then now we will start to move on to the other maps and we will start with customs and the area where we do need to go for this painting on this map is the second floor of the stronghold building. Once you go into stronghold, then we will turn right, go past this truck, and then we are going to take another right and go up this staircase to the top floor. Once you get onto the top floor, then the first painting will be on the right hand side besides some building supplies and also a wooden crate. And then the second spawn is going to be around on the other side of this middle wall, leaning up against a box that is on the closest side to the old gas station. After we check both of these spawns, and if it's not here, then we will move over to the last place to check, which is the opposite side of this top floor closest to Big Skelly. And it will be leaning up against the end of this pipe, which is also to the left of this wooden crate. So now that I've shown you guys the customs painting, then we will move on to painting number eight, which is going to be heading to labs where we will need the tear group lab manager's office key, which can be found in the pockets and bags of scabs, as well as in jackets or in drawers, or it can also be bought from the flea market for usually around 50 K rubles on this map. All three of the spawns are going to be locked behind this door. So it is definitely required for this task. And obviously to get into labs, you will also need a labs access card. Now, once we get into labs, then we will head into the manager's office. The first spawn is going to be on the left side of the manager's desk, leaning into it. The second spawn is going to be leaning onto the set of the drawers that's in between the two desks. And then the third spawn will be leaning on the left side of the far desk in the basically the same location as the first spawn, just on a separate desk. And then once you get the item from one of these three spawns, then you get to try and extract from labs and get away from the hackers and also the laser beam AI rogues. And just that you guys know, you can actually be shot while inside of this glass office. After we are done with labs, then we are going to head to reserve for painting number nine on reserve. We do not require any keys and the building where the three spawns are located is in black Bishop or the school building, which is going to be right in front of the chopper. Just be aware that this building is a potential glue heart spawn. So if you do hear a lot of voice lines and then people pushing you like crazy, it could be him. All three of the spawns are going to be on the right side of this building. So we will be going in through the front right door. And then on the first floor, you do have two potential spawns in the first room on your immediate right. The first painting location is going to be up against the wall in between the wall and also the bedside table. And then the second spawn in this room is going to be on the same wall, but more so to the left of the room inside one of these wardrobes. After you end up checking these two locations, if it is not here, then we will have to go up to the second floor. And then we're going to go left off the stairs into the room on the immediate left of this pallet. Once inside of this room, then the painting is going to be on the far right corner, leaning up against a flipped over drawer on the back side of it closest to the window. And then these are all the spawns on reserve. After we collected the painting on reserve, then we do have to go to shoreline and all three of the painting locations here are locked behind the HEP station storage room key, which now can be found in the pots and bags of scabs as well as in jackets or in drawers, or you can also receive this key as a reward for the Jaeger task nostalgia. You can also buy it from the flea market for approximately 30,000 rubles. So we're here in shoreline, then the health resort is up here and right behind me is where the power station is. And we do have to go into this building, then up to the top floor. So once you get to the top of the metal stairs, then you can approach the storage room from either side. Either way, the key will unlock one or both of the doors if you want. 
Once you enter into this room from this left side, like I'm showing you guys in the video, the first spawn location is immediately inside the door on your left on the floor against some machinery. The second spawn is then going to be on the right side of the room on a chair just beside a table. And then the last spawn will be underneath the chair leaning against the weapon box. After we finish on shoreline, then we will be heading to interchange where you may end up having the hardest time besides labs. Because in order to find painting number 11 on this map, the three locations are very spread out and they also require you to turn on the power for each one of them. And then you also have to have four different keys to be able to successfully check every spawn location. And these four keys are going to be the Kiba outer key, the Kiba inner key, the 11 SR, and also the 21 WS key. The Kiba arms outer door key can be found in the pockets and bags or scabs as well as in jackets or in drawers. Or there is also a barter trade with loyalty level 4 therapist for 60 condensed milk and 10 oat flakes for this key. There is also two potential spawns on interchange, one of which being inside of Goshen next to the tents. And then the other being inside the power station admin room on a shelf. Or you can always buy it from the flea market for usually around 400,000 rubles. You will also need the Kiba Arms Inner Great Door Key, which can be found in the pockets and bags of scabs as well as in jackets or in drawers, or can also be obtained as a reward for finishing Gunsmith Part 15, or you can also always buy it from the flea market for around 80k. So you do require both these keys to check Kiba, so as we are in front of Kiba at the center of the mall, then we will have to unlock both these doors. Now usually there will be an alarm that does start to sound off once you open up the inner door, but I did silence these alarms before recording this video. And if you guys do want to learn how to do that, I do have a video about that on my channel. Now, once you go into Kibba, you want to go to the far right corner where there is a bunch of crates behind a cage. And then the painting will be leaning up against a crate that's right here. Now, after I've checked this spawn location in Kibba, then typically I would go and open up the 11SR room to check there since the 11SR room is relatively close to the Kibba room. And this 11SR key can be found in the pockets and bags of scavs as well as any of the bosses except for Roshala, or it can also be found on the goons or the cultists. You can also do a craft for this key at Intelligence Center level 2, or you can always buy it from the flea for usually around 120,000 rubles. So you do have to make sure that the power is turned on, and then we do have to go up to the urinal which is on the top floor by Burger Town in order to swipe our 11SR key and open up the safe room. Then we have to run back down to the hole in the floor which is past Kibba, and the hole is located in between Rasmussen and Avocado. Once we go downstairs into the parking garage, we will be turning left and then heading towards the minibus and then the floodlight, and just past this generator. You will see an open door on your left, and this is where the safe room extract is located. Once you go inside of this room, then we are going to go to the very back left corner where the painting does potentially spawn on top of this gray generator. And after you finish looting inside of this extract room, then you can actually just extract and then reset if you want to. However, I will be showing you guys the final potential spawn location on this map, which is going to be the 21 WS container. The 21 WS can be found in the pox and bags of scabs as well as on any of the bosses except for Rochelle, or it could also be on the goons or cultists. Or you can always buy it from the flea market for usually around 60,000 rubles. So we're here on interchange just outside the mall on the Ollie side, and then there is a container here that's just over here, which is where we do have to go in order to access the 21 WS room. We need the power to be on and then once we do end up getting into this container yard we do have to jump up onto this connex where we will be able to walk up to another connex and then swipe our key card. Once we do open up this connex then we have to go to the very far back left corner and then we're going to turn around towards the front that we just came into and then the painting will be leaning on a stack of boxes near a weapon box. Honestly, I completely avoided coming and checking this location for the painting since it is so far out of my way, especially if we were the ones who had to go and turn on the power, I would just completely ignore this one and just hope that it spawns somewhere else. So I basically just focused on Kiba and then the 11SR room and never had to check this spawn, but that will be completely up to you guys. After we finish with Interchange, then we will be heading to the last map, which is going to be Lighthouse. And for this map, we do need two keys, being the Water Treatment Plan Storage Room key and also the Rogue Usec Barrack key. All three of the potential painting spawns will be at the Water Treatment Plant. Basically, it is going to be one potential spawn per building. And if you are struggling at getting into the Water Treatment Plant, I do have a guide on my channel for how to clear the rogues at the Water Treatment Plant. But I will show you guys building number one first, which will be the one potential spawn location that does not require a key. So heading inside building one, we will be going up to the second floor on the right side. So we're going to go through this office and control room area and then into the hallway at the back of the building until we get to the last door on our right. Once you go in through that room, then you will have a desk on your immediate right with a laptop on it. And then the painting can spawn behind the laptop and then you'll be able to just pick it up from there. However, if it didn't spawn there, then I will bring you guys over to building number two. So at building number two is where you will need the water treatment plant storage room key, and that key can be found in the pockets and bags of scabs, as well as in jackets or in drawers, or you can also buy it from the flea market, typically for around 20,000 rubles. Now for building number two, once you enter into the building from this side, then you will be having to unlock the second door on your left, which is where the water treatment plant storage room key can be used. Inside of this room, you do have to go to the back right corner on the far side of this wooden supply crate, and then the painting can be leaning right up against it. 
And lastly, we will be going to building number three, and this is the spawn that will require the rogue Yusek bear key. And this key can spawn in the pots and bags of scabs as well as in jackets or in drawers, or you can also buy it from the flea market for around 25,000 rubles. So starting at the front of building three, we will be heading in and staying on the first floor. We're going to be heading around this corner on our left underneath the metal stairs, which is where the locked door is located. And this is where we can use the rogue Yusek bear key. Once we enter into this room, there will be a small weapon rack on our right, and this is the potential location for the painting number 12, just on top of this weapon rack. So guys, that is all 36 potential spawns for this task. Hopefully you guys found this task guide useful and it does help you to complete this task. Unfortunately, it did take me a little bit longer than normal to finish this guide due to the amount of spawns and maps involved. But nevertheless, I hope that it does help you guys in order to get this task done. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're still here at the end, then I definitely appreciate you. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or core in the chat in order to get an invite link and if you don't use twitch then i do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day